In this short video, we're going to show you how tightly integrated Revoice Pro is with Studio One using ARA2. For this demo, I have two vocal lines, and I've intentionally put the second vocal out of time just to demonstrate how easy it is to get the vocals in time. It's fast and it still sounds great. Let's take a listen to the audio before we fix the timing and the tuning. First select the audio tracks you want to align with Revoice Pro in Studio One. Then go to the audio menu and choose Edit with Revoice Pro. Then the Revoice Pro link will appear and start Revoice Pro in the background. Hit the small RV button to show Revoice Pro. You will see all the track names and colors have been transferred automatically. My heart, My heart is, an is an ocean, ocean. Nothing, nothing can, can save, save it, nothing, nothing at, at all. all. So, so twisted, twisted and broken, and broken lost, lost in the storm. the storm. Select the audio that you want to use as the guide. In this case, that's lead vox. Then right mouse click here and choose new APT. APT stands for Audio Performance Transfer, a process that allows you to clone the timing, pitch vibrato and level features of one audio track and use it on another, giving you the chance to match or correct timing, tuning and level. The process menu will appear and you simply choose selected audio. We're going to go to presets. If we want, we can make it super tight timing and pitch. But for this song, I'm going to choose slightly loose pitch and time because we want to have that double track sound. Then guide is lead box one and dub is lead box two. Leave the output set to automatic and that will create a new track for the processed audio in Revoice Pro. Hit new process and wait for a few seconds. I'll mute the original for playback. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. Even better, the processed audio has automatically replaced the original audio on the timeline. However, this is non-destructive, so you can return to the original audio in the timeline. And this can be seen as the waveforms still show their old position. If you want, you can keep the processed audio by bouncing it, and a new audio clip is created in the timeline. Thanks for watching.